In this absolutely wild video that we're going to be checking out today, Dana White storms out of the interview that he had with Howie Mandel. And uh, a lot of this has to do, of course, with the controversies that Dana White continues to have to deal with, including things like him protecting the free speech of a lot of his players, including people like Sean Strickland, who happens to be an extremely based individual. Like we have this video here from Sean Strickland, where he said a lot of things that made a lot of people in the LGBT community extremely upset with his opinions and they tried to get him canceled from UFC. You said about the trans community, you said it's past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Ten years ago to be trans was a what? A mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. It was an absolutely epic rant and something that made a lot of people in the alphabet community extremely upset and it's hilarious because Dana White and Sean Strickland both have very different views on the whole Bud Light situation D Dana White for some reason this is something that I don't agree with him on has decided to uh, kind of accept Bud Light back into his good graces which doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever but in this absolutely wild video that we're going to be checking out here Dana White decided to completely storm off of the the set of the interview. So let's go ahead and check that out. Not only an amazing businessman, you are an inspiration, you are a philosopher, the way you do business, the way you uh, conduct your business and your friendships and media is, uh, I'm, I'm jealous. And, but Dana, I can't thank you enough for being here. Thank you for all the kind words. I appreciate it. I, I am so tired of doing podcasts. It's, I, I'm literally done with them. I'm not doing any more podcasts. <laughs> we have a, an, not only an, Oh my gosh, it's so funny, dude. It's hilarious. Um, and you can see even like early on when he's like talking talking up Dana White and all that stuff. Dana White's just kind of like, uh, I, I I just want to get out of here, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. Amazing businessman. You are an inspiration. Like, look at his face, you are a bro. philosopher. The way you do business, the way you uh, <laughs> conduct your business. and you Even right here at the end, like this guy looks like he's about to cry, bro. He literally looks we like he's about to cry. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, I think that a lot of this is just kind of a bit, to be completely honest. I think that Howie Mandel, if you know anything about him, if you know anything about Dana White, wouldn't surprise me if this was, whole thing was just some sort of marketing bit. And of course, they've done a pretty good job at that because now everyone's watching this clip and everyone's talking about it. I mean, let's be honest, even before today, did any of us really know that Howie Mandel had his own podcast? I know that I didn't, so it wouldn't surprise me if Howie Mandel was like, hey, uh, Dana, can you like come on and do this uh, this little little uh, stunt for me, you know? Could we, like, can we make this happen so that people will actually, you know, watch my podcast? If it's an actual genuine clip, that makes it even more hilarious. But let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. What do you think about this video here? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.